Hey everybody, welcome back to today's video. Today here on the Tanner Holmes YouTube channel, we have a very exciting and eventful vlog for you. Now you guys may remember during July, we took a trip to the Cottage Grove Speedway for one of their Saturday night events. Cottage Grove, if you're unfamiliar with that racetrack, is one of our local tracks here in Oregon. So we took a trip up there to race on a Saturday, uh, ended up qualifying decent, went out there for the heat race, and a few laps into the heat race, I'm not gonna spoil everything, but we had a pretty big time part failure, which just caused a whole circus of a night. Now, because of some of the COVID restrictions and whatnot, I could not upload this video, but now it is going to be up on the channel, so hopefully you guys really enjoy this video. Now, real quick, before we get into that video, I want to answer one question I've been getting a lot these past two weeks. A lot of people have been asking, Tanner, how can I support the YouTube channel? Now, the three main ways you can do that, the first one, if you guys are a business and you're interested in advertising or being on the Sprint Car or here on the YouTube channel and want to be a marketing partner with us, we can do that. I'll put my email down in the description. Send me an email and we can work all that out. The second way, if you guys would like to purchase merchandise, we have an online store, www.tannerhomes.com slash shop. I'll link that also at the top of the description. We have tons of new apparel coming here also for this upcoming Black Friday. And we have all our current 2020 designs on there. So if you want to go purchase a t-shirt or a hat and we'll have some other memorabilia up, you can definitely do so. And then the third way to support the YouTube channel, if you guys want exclusive content, want to get the breaking news first before everyone else, go over and purchase a channel membership here for my YouTube channel. It's $4.99 a month, but you guys are going to be getting exclusive videos every single week. And like I said, if I have breaking news or I have some fun stuff to share with you, you guys are the first ones to know. But with that, I do want to thank all of our new and existing subscribers for now tuning in to the videos. My growth during October has really been insane, and I could not have done it without all of you guys watching, liking, commenting. I appreciate all of your feedback. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video from Cottage Grove. It's one of the craziest that's ever been uploaded to the channel. Hey everybody, welcome back to today's video. Today we are here at the Cottage Grove Speedway in Cottage Grove, Oregon for another limited race. As you guys saw a few weeks ago, we ran here at Cottage Grove. Track took rubber a few laps into the race and we really burned up both rear tires on the car. But we're excited to be back here. Weather is great. It's actually almost in the high 90s, so the track's gonna dry off really, really quick tonight. We have six classes here in the pit area once again. Got the IMCA Modifieds, B Mods, Sport Compacts, the Limiteds, Late Models, and the Street Stocks. Now, unfortunately, they still have some of the same rules and guidelines as far as filming goes, so I can't really show you guys a whole lot. Everything has got to be taken from here in my pit area. Can't show you guys the racetrack, but we are still going to be bringing you lots of cool GoPro angles to show you all of our on-track action. So it should be another fun day here at Cottage Grove. We ran second from 11th place last time we were here. We're hoping to get one spot better and bring it home in victory lane. We're going to, going to be going out in group number three in group qualifying here. I believe we got 21 or 22 limited sprints on tap here tonight, so we got a stack field of cars. Our goal is to bring home the win tonight. Let's get started with qualifying. sticky here at the Cottage Grove Speedway. Just got done with qualifying, group qualifying. That's how they do the limited class here. I'm more of a fan of single car. I like to go out there and, you know, get your two laps. We did two laps there of group qualifying. It's just real tough to get spread out on these little quarter miles, uh, trying to get everyone to go at the same time and get enough room for everyone to run a good lap. They didn't say any of the times over the loudspeaker, so I'm not sure where we ended up, but like I said, I felt really, really good. Had a nice line through one and two. Three and four got a little high the first time, corrected it though for the second lap and was able to kind of shoot off down by the bottom uh, to the checkered flag. Like I mentioned in the first clip and just wanted to remind you guys here at Cottage Grove right now, due to all the conditions, I can't really do a lot of shooting outside my trailer, so all of our clips are gonna be like this just through updates as well as that onboard footage. It does feel like it's slickening off a little bit quicker than it did last week, but they're gonna post the lineup so we'll know where we'll qualify it. I'll try to give you guys an update and then right into the heat races. 
So they just posted the heat race lineups. We ended up going fifth quick out of 21 limited sprints here tonight at the Cottage Grove Speedway. Felt much better there. It seemed like I think quick time was first or second group. Not necessarily that the track fell off much. It uh, just seemed like the top three, I think, went out in group one or two. Us in group three, we laid down a really good lap. That's going to set us up to start second row inside in heat race number two. Our goal is to finish inside the top two because that, that'll give us a good chance when they do the dice draw, possibly starting in the first few rows. sinking underneath. This is going to be the 18T of Holmes. Holmes, oh my, something on the right front breaking and getting tagged hard. Patrick Desbians and red flag coming out. So that was your second and fourth place cars getting caught up in that one. Uh, it's going to put Camden Robustelli in the 9T running in position number two. You guys will not believe the circus that we just had here at our pit area. I am exhausted. Wow, what a big hit we just took there in the limited heat race. We were ripping, started third, got into second, was chasing down the leader. Uh, actually, our, our pit neighbor here, the 21W of Jake Wheeler, he was really making the bottom stick in three and four, and I was able to kind of really go wherever, top one and two, uh, I could have made the bottom work, a crossover line, and I got to his inside kind of entering three, and I checked up because I really wanted to finish first or second in the heat race either, didn't really matter to me. But I was going to go for the win if I could get by him cleanly there. And uh, he went to the bottom, and I actually was expecting him to run a little bit higher. So I got on the brakes, and the car just got tight. And I mean tighter than I've ever. And originally in the moment, I thought I just caught the grease. So I gassed it up to try to get the rear tires to spin because these limiteds, man, if you get them tight, it's so hard to get them going because they don't have much horsepower. Well, I didn't catch the grease. The right front, the right front just snapped. The front axle snapped in half. And in the moment, I knew something was wrong. But being a rookie, 
seat to the sprint car, you know, I got a few years under my belt, but fortunate enough, I haven't ran into a whole lot of situations where, you know, something snapped in the front end or something broke in the rear end. So originally, I just thought I got really, really tight because that happens in these limiteds when they get into the grease. So I kept my foot in it to try to get it to come around, and by the time I got in the fluff, the car snapped left and shot right across the racetrack, and unfortunately, the 4D of Patrick Desbians, he, you know, he, he had nowhere to go, and he just got into the side of us. It was a really, really hard hit, but believe it or not, we actually got super, super lucky. The exact position, him hitting my left rear, it didn't do a whole lot of damage to his car, and it could have been so much worse, so we definitely got lucky on that call. So it truly sucks, and it's just a part of racing. Like I said, we have some more stuff to talk about, but we're going to get ready for the A-Main event, and once again, I can't thank every single person that came over and helped us out. I mean, so many of my competitors, uh, Jake Wheeler and the Wheelers next to us, Tyler Thompson, my crew guys, Skyler Caster, Roger, my dad, my mom, Carissa, everyone pitched in, and Carly, and um, then also my sponsors, Jeff Moffitt and some of his friends. So I'm just so thankful that everyone pitched in to help me out get back out on the track. Well, we're getting ready to roll out for the Sprint Car A-Main event here at the Cottage Grove Speedway. We are gonna be rolling off 20th, almost dead last. One car is gonna be behind us. Right now, I'm just hoping we have enough laps. You know, our goal is still to win this race. You know, we're hoping everything, we put it back together. We double checked ourselves, giving ourselves the best opportunity to go out there and be fast. In order to get to the front, I'm gonna need everything to go my way. But if I can get past the first few cars ahead of me, and then uh, hopefully a little bit of open track, I can just start running people down. Our car was so incredibly fast there in the heat race. I mean, we quickly jumped into second and probably would have won there had we not had that mechanical failure. So let's go out there. And as we used to say in the beginner box days, drive it like you stole it. You know, uh, that was not unfortunate situation but the only thing we can do now is bounce back from it and um, that's what we're going to do here in the A main event so ride along with me on the GoPro hopefully those all run the whole time and we'll be able to go from 20th to the lead I will see you guys out there
car is in one piece. Trailer's a little messy, got some broken parts down here. As usual, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little disappointed that we didn't bring it home at Victory Lane tonight. You know, we had some great speed. If everything goes our way there in the heat race, fun fact, if I would've ran second in the heat race there, I would've started on the pole of the A main event. You guys saw, we broke. Broke a front axle, tried to keep it uh, on the racetrack a little bit, tried to keep going and, you know, just got sideways there, popped a wheelie, another car hit us. And then we had an absolute circus over at our pit area. People were scrambling, changed the front axle, changed the rear axle, radius rods. Fortunate enough, the top wing was good and then just some other miscellaneous parts. Had to change gears from one rear end to the other. We were running and grabbing stuff here out of the toolbox. And like I said, just an absolute zoo over here at the 18T pit. Once again, though, I do want to thank everybody that helped us out. Hopefully, I don't forget anyone. We had everyone over here in the Wheeler camp next to us. My good sponsor at OMA KTM, his old group was over here. And then as well as our crew and a few other people, it was just awesome to see the support that they wanted me to get back out on the racetrack. We got it fixed about 15, 20 minutes before the A-Main event, was able to do our last minute adjustments after their rework. They cut our race five laps short, so that also hurt us. I think we definitely could have been on the podium there. Maybe potentially we get another yellow. The first and second were battling really, really hard. We might have been in the catbird seat to make something happen for the win. So a tad bit disappointing. We didn't bring a home in victory lane. Just a few things weren't on our side there. But a uh, fun fact, our plus minus ratio in our first three limited races of the year. Last year, we won eight times and quite a few with ISCS. This year, we have one win in three starts and we have a plus minus ratio of plus 29. The best we've started out of all of our races was fifth. We ended up winning that at Coos Bay. Last time at Grove, we went 11th to 2nd, and tonight, 20th to 4th. So overall, a good night rebuilding the car in the middle, getting it good enough just to go back out there and, uh, you know, run the aiming event. Got to thank ABC Powder Coating, Pit Stop USA, North Medford Les Schwab Tires, On-Site Screeners, Swindell Speed Lab, Durango RV, Ferguson Waterworks, Knife River, as well as Lafarge North America, QRC Carts, OMA KTM, as well as all the viewers and subscribers watching today's video. We may have not brought it home in victory lane tonight, but we sure had one hectic vlog uh, with some crazy content. And last but not least, just want to thank everyone on my crew, my dad, my mom, my older sister, Carissa, my younger sister, Carly, Skylar Caster, Roger Henderson, and everyone else that pitched in through the night. Our next few weeks are going to be really, really hectic with a lot of racing, so I'll come out with a little bit of a schedule where we will be at. Anyway, now we got a two-hour drive home. I got to wake up early and watch this thing. Also, just want to say, I uh, got to thank the good Lord for keeping me safe tonight. That was a really, really hard hit in the heat race and could have been much worse. So thankful we're okay. Anyway, like I said, time to head home. See you guys all in the next one, and thank you so much for tuning in. Deuces.